You want me to say I love you. I never knew what people meant by that word. Say it, don't say it. I can't bear the sound of it. The 1960s, often hailed as the golden era of cinema, witnessed an unprecedented amalgamation of talent, beauty, and charisma gracing the silver screen. During this transformative decade, a cohort of remarkable actresses captivated audiences worldwide, leaving an indelible mark on the world of film. Their remarkable performances not only defined the decade, but also sculpted the path for generations to come. Let us delve into the luminous journeys of the 20 most loved actresses of this vibrant decade, who reigned supreme in the hearts of many. You don't know what I'm gonna do today and nor do I. Enjoy yourself. Oh, I have, baby. Number one, Elizabeth Taylor. In the 1960s, Elizabeth Taylor asserted her dominance in the film industry, epitomizing both glamour and talent. Known for her striking violet eyes and magnetic screen presence, Taylor graced the decade with roles that showcased her versatility and depth as an actress. In 1960, she won her first Academy Award for Butterfield 8, a portrayal of a call girl with a golden heart. This momentum carried on to one of her most significant roles as Cleopatra in the 1963 epic, a role that not only illustrated her exceptional acting prowess, but also spotlighted her as a tenacious and determined artist during the troubled production. Her on-screen chemistry with Richard Burton in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1966, earned her a second Oscar, solidifying her status as a leading lady of the decade. In a time of shifting societal norms, Taylor's fearless representation of complex modern women made her an icon, inspiring many to break free from the confinements of traditional femininity. Number two. Marilyn Monroe. Even though the radiant journey of Marilyn Monroe was tragically curtailed in the early 1960s, her impact on the screen and the hearts of the audience continued to reverberate throughout the decade. A captivating blend of vulnerability and allure, Monroe's presence in the film industry was nothing short of magnetic. Her roles in the earlier part of the decade, including the effervescent performance in Some Like It Hot, 1959, and the emotionally charged portrayal in The Misfits, 1961, showcased a multifaceted talent capable of both comedic timing and dramatic depth. The latter would unfortunately be her final completed film. Despite her untimely passing in 1962, Monroe's legacy lived on, her image synonymous with the golden age of Hollywood. Throughout the 60s, she remained a symbol of both beauty and tragedy, Embodying the complexities of fame and personal struggle, Marilyn Monroe wasn't just an actress, she was a phenomenon, a luminous star whose brilliance continued to cast a long, inspiring and somewhat melancholy shadow on the decade, affirming her eternal place in the annals of film history. Number 3. Audrey Hepburn In the 1960s, Audrey Hepburn illuminated the cinematic world with grace, poise and versatility. She began the decade with groundbreaking performances in films such as Breakfast at Tiffany's, 1961, where she personified the charming yet complex Holly Golightly, a character that became a cultural icon. Hepburn's embodiment of strong, independent women continued with roles in films like Charade, 1963, and My Fair Lady, 1964, each performance adding a new facet to her evolving on-screen persona. Off the screen, her elegance and humanitarian spirit resonated well with the audiences, setting a benchmark for celebrity philanthropy in the years to come. Hepburn's contribution to the arts went beyond her mesmerizing performances. Her influence extended to fashion and philanthropy, marking her as a beacon of class and compassion. Throughout the decade, Audrey Hepburn emerged as not just a celebrated actress, but a woman of substance an inspiration reflecting both the depth and the luminosity of the human spirit in a rapidly changing world. Number 4. Sophia Loren Sophia Loren, the embodiment of Italian glamour and grace, soared to unparalleled heights in the 1960s. This decade witnessed Loren blossoming into a global star, with a potent blend of talent, beauty, and charisma that seemed to transcend the screen. With a career trajectory that was nothing short of meteoric, Lauren's performances in the 1960s were marked by depth and nuance, showcasing her innate ability to portray a diverse range of characters. In Two Women, 1960, Lauren delivered a performance so powerful 
that it won her the Academy Award for Best Actress, making her the first actor to win an Oscar for a non-English language role. Her portrayals were a testament to her remarkable versatility, effortlessly oscillating between dramatic depths and light-hearted roles in movies like Marriage Italian Style, 1964. Lauren's luminous presence in the film industry during this period not only brought her accolades, but also positioned her as a symbol of a changing society, embracing modern, complex portrayals of women. Sophia Lauren's radiant journey in the 1960s stands as a beacon of artistic brilliance and evolving femininity in cinema's golden age. Number 5. Brigitte Bardot Brigitte Bardot, with her entrancing beauty and unabashedly bold persona, etched an everlasting mark on the 1960s, both as a quintessential French actress and a global icon. Her influence extended far beyond the silver screen, embodying a revolution of female liberation and sexuality. In the 60s, Bardot took on roles that showcased not only her allure, but her undeniable talent, captivating audiences worldwide with her magnetic screen presence and nuanced performances. Films like Contempt, 1963, allowed her to exhibit a depth of character, affirming her position as a powerhouse performer. Bardot wasn't just an actress. She was a cultural phenomenon, a symbol of a new era where women could embrace their sensuality without apology. Her free-spirited nature, both on and off the screen, coupled with her vehement stance on animal rights, painted the picture of a woman ahead of her time, fearlessly carving her path and influencing the perception of femininity in a changing world. Number 6. Julie Andrews Julie Andrews graced the 1960s with an array of performances that would forever earn her a place in the pantheon of legendary actresses. Beginning the decade with a bang, Andrews captured hearts globally with her iconic role as Maria in The Sound of Music, 1965, a role that showcased not only her remarkable acting chops, but her angelic singing voice. This momentum was preceded by her Oscar-winning performance in Mary Poppins, 1964, where she brought to life the beloved magical nanny with a blend of grace and wit. But Andrews was not just a figure of grace and kindness. She demonstrated her range with a compelling performance in the dramatic Hawaii, 1966. Julie Andrews' remarkable versatility and innate charm during the 1960s created an enduring legacy, marking her as not only a celebrated actress, but a beacon of talent, personifying a golden era where grace, talent, and spirit blended harmoniously to create cinematic magic. Number 7. Natalie Wood In the vibrant tapestry of the 1960s cinema, Natalie Wood emerged as a beacon of talent and grace, bringing to life some of the most memorable characters of the decade. Transitioning from a child star to a leading lady with seamless grace, Wood's performances in the 60s were marked by an emotional depth and complexity that captivated audiences globally. Her role in West Side Story, 1961, where she portrayed Maria, demonstrated her versatility, blending innocence with a potent undercurrent of passion and tragedy. Following this, her portrayal of Wilma Dean in Splendor in the Grass, 1961, showcased a stirring depiction of love and mental turmoil, earning her critical acclaim. Throughout the decade, Wood continued to choose roles that pushed boundaries, reflecting the changing dynamics of society and offering a lens into the intricate landscape of human emotions. Natalie Wood's contributions to the 60s were not just performances, but a testament to the evolving narrative of cinema during this golden era. Number 8. Raquel Welch In the latter half of the 1960s, the film industry witnessed the meteoric rise of Raquel Welch, a star who blended glamour with a bold, modern approach to femininity. Welch burst onto the scene with a bang in Fantastic Voyage, 1966, immediately capturing attention with her striking beauty and strong screen presence. However, it was her role in One Million Years B.C., 1966, that catapulted her to international stardom, her iconic fur bikini poster becoming a symbol of the sexual revolution taking place during the decade. Welch continued to grace the screen with her electrifying performances in films such as Bedazzled, 1967, and Bandolero, 1968, proving that she was not just a pretty face, 
but a formidable talent capable of holding her own against established stars. Welch's rise to stardom was emblematic of a shifting cultural landscape, where women could embody both beauty and power, challenging the traditional norms and expectations of Hollywood. Through her roles, Raquel Welch not only entertained audiences, but helped shape a new, more liberated vision of femininity, echoing the transformative spirit of the 1960s. Number 9. Jane Fonda In the 1960s, Jane Fonda emerged as a vibrant force in the cinematic world, navigating her initial roles with a magnetic blend of vivacity and depth. Starting the decade with romantic comedies like Tall Story, 1960, and Period of Adjustment, 1962, she gradually revealed a knack for taking on diverse and complex roles. Her transformative performance in They Shoot Horses, Don't They?, 1969, marked a significant turning point, showcasing her ability to inhabit characters grappling with despair and hopelessness, earning her a first Academy Award nomination. Fonda's journey during this decade mirrored the evolving societal norms, with her embracing roles that were not only entertaining, but also introspective, reflecting the changing dynamics of women's representation in cinema. Jane Fonda's growth in the 1960s set the stage for a remarkable career that would see her becoming not just a celebrated actress, but a symbol of change and activism in the years to come. Number 10. Debbie Reynolds As the 1960s unfolded, Debbie Reynolds continued to sparkle in the limelight, showcasing an array of performances that cemented her status as one of Hollywood's darling figures. With a career already blossoming since the 50s, Reynolds embraced the 60s with a spirit of reinvention and enthusiasm. During this period, she delighted audiences with her roles in musicals and comedies, showcasing her vivacity and talent in films such as The Unsinkable Molly Brown, 1964, a performance that earned her an Academy Award nomination. Not just confined to the silver screen, Reynolds also marked her presence on television with The Debbie Reynolds Show, 1969 to 70, bringing her charm into households across the nation. Despite facing personal challenges, Reynolds' spirit remained undeterred, her performances emanating a warmth and resilience that resonated with audiences. Through the 60s, Debbie Reynolds epitomized grace and perseverance her journey being a testimony to the enduring sparkle of talent and the magnetic allure of a true star. Number 11. Doris Day Doris Day reigned supreme in the early 1960s, weaving a tapestry of performances that still resonate for their blend of innocence and vibrancy. Recognized primarily as a musical powerhouse, Day effortlessly transitioned into the role of a leading lady in romantic comedies. During this period, her on-screen collaborations with Rock Hudson became emblematic of the genre, with films like Pillow Talk, 1959, and Lover Come Back, 1961, capturing audiences with their witty dialogues and Day's charming presence. In 1963, she embraced a serious role in The Thrill of It All, portraying a housewife who ventures into a career in advertising, reflecting the evolving societal perspectives on women's roles. Despite her shift towards dramatic roles, Day never lost her essence, a beacon of warmth and sincerity. Her influence in the early 1960s was unmistakable, embodying a golden era where grace and talent harmonized to create timeless cinematic magic. Number 12. Anne Bancroft In the kaleidoscopic world of 1960s cinema, Anne Bancroft emerged as a figure of undeniable talent and gravitas. The decade saw Bancroft deliver a series of powerful performances that won her critical acclaim and a place in the annals of Hollywood greats. Perhaps most prominently, her portrayal of Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate, 1967, became a cultural touchstone, embodying the complex, evolving perceptions of womanhood during the era. This role not only fetched her an Academy Award nomination, but solidified her status as an actress capable of nuanced, multifaceted portrayals. Prior to this, Bancroft had already bagged an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in The Miracle Worker, 1962, where she played the tenacious Anne Sullivan, teacher to the blind and deaf Helen Keller. Through the 60s, Bancroft's filmography was a testament to her artistic versatility and depth, 
traversing complex narratives with a grace and intensity that captured the intricate zeitgeist of the decade, leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape of the time. Number 13. Katharine Hepburn In the 1960s, Katharine Hepburn graced the screen with an amalgam of roles that further cemented her legacy as a trailblazer in the cinematic domain. Despite having been a significant figure in Hollywood since the 1930s, Hepburn's allure did not wane as she entered a new decade. The 60s witnessed Hepburn embodying characters with a rejuvenated zest, as seen in her powerful portrayal of an estranged daughter in Long Day's Journey Into Night, 1962, a performance reflecting the deeper intricacies of familial bonds. Her collaborative magic with Spencer Tracy was once again witnessed in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, 1967, a film that tackled contemporary issues of race and relationships with sensitivity and candor. Even as newer faces emerged in the limelight, Hepburn's stature grew, her roles resonating for their depth and substance. In this decade, Hepburn demonstrated that her artistic voyage was far from over, contributing to the cinematic tapestry with performances that were both nuanced and timeless. Number 14. Claudia Cardinale the 1960s heralded the rise of Claudia Cardinale as a vanguard in the international cinema. With a bewitching screen presence that combined grace with fiery spirit, Cardinale became synonymous with the vibrant energy that the decade encapsulated. Embarking on a journey that saw her crossing borders, Cardinale was a sensation not just in her home country of Italy, but also garnered a growing appreciation globally. In this period, she graced the screens in iconic films such as Eight and a Half Inches, 1963, by Federico Fellini, a role that showcased her ability to embody the complex nuances of her character with aplomb. Her international acclaim further skyrocketed with her turn in The Leopard, 1963, where her portrayal of Angelica Sadara Bertiana earned her widespread acclaim. Furthermore, Cardinale's role in Once Upon a Time in the West, 1968, demonstrated her versatility, contributing to the transformation of the spaghetti western genre. Through the 60s, Claudia Cardinale rose as a beacon of international cinema, her performances echoing a rich tapestry of narratives that were as diverse as they were captivating, etching her name in the annals of film history. Number 15. Faye Dunaway As the 1960s unfolded, a new star was on the rise who would soon take her place among the iconic faces of Hollywood Faye Dunaway. Making her film debut in the latter half of the decade, Dunaway immediately captivated audiences with her striking features and profound depth of character portrayal. Her entrance into the cinematic landscape was marked with her role in The Happening, 1967, but it was her performance as Bonnie Parker in the groundbreaking Bonnie and Clyde, 1967 that truly catapulted her into stardom. This role not only showcased her ability to embody complex, layered characters, but also heralded the arrival of a powerhouse talent who could hold her own against established stars. In a time of cinematic transition, Dunaway brought a new kind of female protagonist to the screen, fierce, independent, and unapologetically flawed. Her performances resonated deeply with audiences, reflecting the changing dynamics of society and cinema. As the decade drew to a close, it was clear that Dunaway's impact on the industry was profound, setting the stage for a career that would continue to defy expectations and break new ground. Number 16, Lee Remick. The 1960s were a significant period in the career of Lee Remick, a time that saw her showcasing an impressive range of performances in a series of successful films. Already an established actress by the beginning of the decade, Remick continued to explore diverse roles, garnering praise for her versatility and depth. In Days of Wine and Roses, 1962, she delivered a harrowing portrayal of a woman grappling with addiction, a performance that earned her a well-deserved Academy Award nomination. Throughout the decade, she appeared in a plethora of roles that showcased her range, from the intense courtroom drama Anatomy of a Murder, 1959, to the light-hearted musical Anyone Can Whistle, 1964. Remick's performances were characterized by a tangible vulnerability and strength, attributes that made her characters deeply human and relatable. As the decade progressed, 
Remick further solidified her status as a reliable, gifted performer, her body of work reflecting a commitment to craft and a profound understanding of the human condition. Her impact in the 1960s was substantial, cementing her legacy as a luminous presence in the golden era of cinema. Number 17. Gina Lollobrigida Gina Lollobrigida, with her radiant presence and artistic flair, contributed significantly to the global film industry during the 1960s, leaving an imprint that still reverberates today. This Italian actress, whose beauty and talent seemed to transcend borders, found herself at the nexus of an evolving cinematic landscape during this decade. Her endeavors weren't confined to Italian cinema, as she ventured boldly into Hollywood, bringing with her a fresh and captivating style of acting that resonated deeply with audiences worldwide. During the 1960s, Lolo Brigida continued to build on her already impressive filmography, gracing screens in diverse roles that showcased her range and prowess. Notable mentions from this period include her portrayal of Queen of Sheba in Solomon and Sheba, 1959, a performance that dazzled audiences with its magnetic allure and depth. This was followed by roles in films such as Come September, 1961, where her charisma paired delightfully with Rock Hudson, creating a memorable on-screen chemistry that delighted audiences. A woman of many talents, Lalo Brigida also explored her passion for photography during this period, showcasing a multifaceted personality that endeared her to fans globally. Throughout the decade, she continued to embody characters that were often complex and multi-layered, reflecting a deep understanding of the human condition and showcasing a remarkable depth of craft. As the 60s drew to a close, Gina Lollobrigida had firmly established herself as a force of nature in the film industry, an icon whose performances during this time were characterized by both grace and fervor. Number 18. Simone Signoret In the tapestry of 1960s cinema, Simone Signoret held a prominent position, bringing a torrent of acclaimed performances that struck a chord with audiences and critics alike. This decade was a period of both personal and professional growth for Signore, as she navigated roles that were both challenging and rewarding. A seasoned actress by the time the 60s rolled around, Signore was no stranger to the spotlight, having already made a mark with her intense and compelling performances in previous decades. During the 1960s, Signoret's craft blossomed further, as she embraced roles that were complex, gritty, and deeply human. Her portrayal in Room at the Top, 1959, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Actress, served as a testament to her extraordinary talent, setting the tone for a decade of impressive endeavors. She further demonstrated her acting prowess in Ship of Fools, 1965, a role that garnered her critical acclaim for her raw and authentic performance. As the decade progressed, Signore continued to grace the silver screen with performances that resonated for their emotional depth and complexity. Films like Games, 1967, and The Deadly Affair, 1967, showcased her as an actress of substance, capable of embodying a wide array of characters with an innate sense of realism and depth. As the 1960s came to an end, Simone Signore's remarkable journey through the decade stood as a beacon of excellence, her legacy enriched by a series of performances that bore the hallmark of true artistry, echoing the nuances and complexities of a transformative era in cinema.